Okay, now we're ready to move into kind of a, a next level of strategy and uh, attack sequences, okay? Uh, for now, we're gonna work on sort of best case scenario for him, all right? He's really doing a great job of keeping his arms in good position. I have no mount immediately. I have no arm attack immediately. I don't feel like I can go knee in the belly, you know, and I'm looking for, uh, you know, my, my way to keep progressing without losing position, okay? So, his arms, great spot. This one's, you know, tight against my hip, elbow to his body. This one, it's not, it's resisting the urge to want to push on my neck. It knows better than to be here. He's keeping it in. Maybe even has it in his my armpit, which in my opinion is the best position for it. Okay, which you've seen on my escape series, you know, uh, why I, I feel this way. Okay. So now I'm in this situation where, ah oh, man, I know he's so tight, you know, like I don't have any great control, no mounts here, no kimuras here, no arms set up, and I'm like, what do I want to do? Okay, what am I going to do? All right? So, here's the next game and strategy for you. All right? This hand, I'm going to put thumb in inside his collar. Okay, let's go a little bit this way. I can see the grips better. So, thumb in the collar. Nothing really threatening right now. Just a grip. Just a control. Okay? And now, to help take away the strength of this arm and its ability to push against my armpit, okay? I'm gonna come under and I'm gonna grip the same lapel. All right, I'm gonna put that in my hand and just move, just a second. I'm gonna try to kind of fold it over a little bit and I wanna pin this down around his shoulder, okay? So, you know, the, the, the pressure is really going towards the arm, not towards the neck. Folding this one right under the armpit. Okay, so now I have a great sort of place to post and put some weight to, uh, to make it hard for him to turn onto his side. The more weight I put down on the shoulder, the harder it's gonna be for him to get his shoulder off the mat and get onto you know, this shoulder and get on his side, all right? So I'm gonna use this control. I'm not really pushing that much yet, but I'm gonna start to change my position. Due to the great positioning that he has, I wanna kind of, change the way I'm trying to control him to you know, allow me to stay in a good, safe spot, okay? So from here, I'm gonna start to extend my arms and raise up a little bit as I apply this weight down on, on the lapels, pinning and trapping his shoulder. So I'm gonna kind of go here, and I'm gonna look to sit up and start to lift, off my, lift my hip off the floor using my feet and kind of sit right on his thigh, pinning this down. Okay, pushing like, putting my fists, my knuckles down into the mat, uh, you know, almost like, you know, uh, nailing him down. Okay, like pretend my, my fists were nails. Okay, and now I raised up a little more so I can make sure that I'm blocking this leg. Okay, I don't want to go square at all, you know, when I, when I can tell that it's in good position. I don't want to turn this way. Obviously, that knee's going to come in front of me. Okay. So I'm here, I'm gonna go more here, okay? Sitting my butt right on the top of his thigh, okay? Now from here, we're gonna go knee in the belly, all right? We're still saying his, his arms are, you know, he's keeping the arms in. Even though all this point so far, never once did he give me space to get some underhooks or get some good position on his arm, okay? But I've got him flat. So now it's time to go knee in the belly. Now my knee is gonna come towards his head and then come down like this, in this circle, okay? Resist the urge to go square and then try to go, because there comes that knee, all right? And so I'm here to knee in the belly, okay? Now, we're in a situation where he's gonna decide his fate, okay? Um, and this is a very great strategy, one of my favorite side control finishing games these days um, to get to the submission or get to the mount and then get the submission, okay? So 
what is his most likely reaction once I go knee in the belly? For sure, he's gonna wanna push my knee, you know, and try to get some, some space, try to escape. He doesn't wanna feel smashed, he doesn't wanna feel on my weight. So, whenever I'm here, and I see his hand come down to my knee, probably both are gonna be there pushing against my leg, okay? What I wanna do is I'm gonna now switch to the submission mindset, all right? Now my hand is far from his neck because I'm pulling his, his collar over his shoulder. I'm sorry, pushing his collar over his shoulder. So when I decide I wanna go for the neck, I need to bring this back, okay? Bring this back to where if, if his chin is straight up, my little wrist bone is right under his, his uh, point of his chin, okay? That's about the alignment that I wanna have, okay? And he's going to start to move and work on, on dealing with that leg. As he's doing that, look how I immediately drop my elbow. Very important that I drop my elbow quickly, okay, before he can turn his, his head too far, and now I'm not going to get my arm under his chin, okay? So I drop my elbow right away. Now I'm going to start to look for this hand to go into the collar here, okay? Palm up, four fingers in. I just want to get a little, a little grip here on this collar, and I'm gonna twist and drop my hip, okay? Now, look at my shoulder. Look how my shoulder is right next to his eyes and his temple, all right? Now I can keep his head looking straight up instead of turning towards me, all right? I'm trying to ease up here so I don't choke him too much. But my head's right there, keeping him in that, that perfect spot. Now I start to really tighten, use my wrist, pull down here, and slide my elbow up towards his ear, okay? It stays on the mat and just slides in a circle, all right, towards the top of his head, okay? But it's important that you sprawl. Now, I don't wanna twist my body, all right? Let's look at the other side. So, great positioning for him. Congratulations, you're doing everything right, okay? So I have to do something to force a mistake or, or disguise my attack, okay? So I go thumb in, and I get a good grip on the lapel with the other hand so I can pin his shoulder, and now I start to raise myself up here, all right? I wouldn't stay here long. I'm just making sure this is my first step before I go knee in the belly, okay? You know, he can, he can try to push and escape, but I'm not going to say that you know, this is a good way to also just maintain me in the belly because I can really pin his shoulder here. I put my weight down against that. It's hard for him to move. So, you know, if you feel like you want to just stay in the belly and control that position, dominate that, great. Go for it, all right? Or use it to set up the submission, okay? Because now his hands are going down here, which means nothing is up here by his neck, all right? So just make sure you bring this back to his neck first, okay? Now I look to drop my elbow so I can stop him from getting out of the choke, okay? I'm looking for my second grip as my hip drops. Look at my hip. I don't twist, I don't do anything like this, okay? I just sprawl my hip down and there's my shoulder right against his head. And then there's the choke, okay? I just slide into it and really activate the wrist to pull this around, okay? I'm not going, like, I'm not chopping into his Adam's apple at all, okay? The, the, the choke is, comes from my elbow pushing into this side and the grip here being tight on the other side, you know, swarming around his arteries here, like really contracting everything, you know, almost like, you know, his own... Uh, gee is like choking himself, okay, just wrapping around here, all right? And then my elbow, it just slides up to put it, put it all in position, okay? So again, right here, head up, okay? Grips, pin, twist, start to raise up a little bit. There's the knee on the belly, all right? feel like you can maintain it? Great. He starts moving and looking to escape. There's a wide open neck, okay? Make sure you bring this across first. Elbow down. If I can get my elbow to the floor, 
before he turns his chin, I have a great chance of finishing this. Now look for that second grit, and you see how I just drive my shoulder into his head. This one is very tight, okay? Um, and there it was, all set in, just like a variation of the bread cutter or paper cutter, but instead of going like this, we're coming on top with this arm, and, you know, a little more details, a little more uh, of an angle here with the elbow and my shoulder being right there. You know, instead of like the old school bread cutter was very much just like, ah, you know, and it was kind of hard on the neck, all right, in the throat. Um, I like to call this the short choke, okay? And this is a, a great thing to, you know, um, attack without having to do too much and possibly lose position. And uh, it's fast, okay? That thumb man, boom, as soon as you drop the elbow, it goes from, you know, a very non-threatening grip to being a very tight choke very fast. Okay, so this is going to set up our strategy and really open things up, um, you know, for blending a lot of attacks together and gives us a nice option whenever their arms are in tight. Okay, so stay tuned for more good stuff from this.